Got a good one. Oh, he had a beauty. And it takes Brooks Johnson back to his own 46. Johnson it's over, over midfield, Cardinal territory, 48-yard line. A 48-yard putt by Dwayne Carroll, and the Cardinals really needed it at that moment. Look at look at Bob Brody, number 53, come up the middle. That's the delayed blitz. He lets that center commit for one way or another. Charlie Waters, number 41, is coming up there, and he's tripping the ball away from it, which, of course, is legal. And there's Brunick back on the fumble. So I situation. Hand off to the outside. You see him there. Trying to wait. Delay in here. He said, wait, don't look at me. Quick flip over the middle. That's really the inexperience of those linebackers that you guys were talking about a while ago. Nobody should get the ball. Look at him roll. He has the first down. Oh, they love him here. They just love him, and why not? I don't blame him. They've been waiting for this kind of back to give the Cowboys the total offense well, that their you, personnel deserves. Here. Look at that. Squirts, though. He moves to the outside almost as fast as he goes straight ahead. Good block by Newhouse. Coming to the outside, look at Tom Rafferty, number 64, coming around in there. He did follow up, jumped in there. A great acceleration off the ball. Looks like a first down, Frank. Three setbacks now. Kristen Pearson back in the lineup. Newhouse is there. Dorsett is there. Dorsett, the call. Curtis into the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. Oh, yeah. He does it all. I wouldn't jump like that too much anymore, though, because that's where you really get hurt. Up and over. Yeah, get in there another way. That was a nice one. Touchdown. That's dramatic, but it's also dangerous. Yeah, it really is, Frank. You see Newhouse come across the other side. Oh, that's up in there. You are somewhat vulnerable. Another shot of it. Going off to the right side. They're going over to Tom Rafferty and Donovan that you're talking about, Howard, and they uh, had a good lead block by Newhouse. My friend Herrera for the conversion. Herrera puts the uplash. The Cowboys are in front, 7-3. to three. This is deep for Dallas. Carroll. Fair catch called for and made at the 40-yard line, where Dallas will once again have good field position. There he is across. You see him. That ball is snapped. Splits across the line of scrimmage. I oh, told you look at him again. What a hole. I said he was no Calvin Hill, which was true, but Dallas fans didn't like that. going to be able to play tonight. Second down and 10. Ball at the 23-yard line of the Cardinals. Roger with a huge Gutsy son of a gun. He really he will go at it. He's one of the pluckiest athletes uh, this country has yet seen. He is, he is a leader in every respect. Look at his hole open up. Now he's got uh, Dorsten in here. He takes another linebacker out. There's nobody there but a referee. Look at this move. That's a good one, Frank. Right there. Now here's a heads up. Dorsett. And he gets popped before he has a chance to hurdle towards the end zone. You see him kind of get himself set to jump that time. I think that's one of the things that I know coaches I used to always hear, that coach in particular, say, look, stay on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground because you can't change directions when you're in midair. Play action. Pass. Oh, nobody there. Wide open. Billy Joe Dupree. Got it. That was close. Touchdown drive. Done in the manner of the old Green Bay backer team. Using the clock. You never, you, never, you never saw Bar Star run that far in your life. Tell the truth. That's true. Okay. Not Bar Star. But I saw him throw the same kind of back. Right. Sometimes against you. Look at this one. A fake to Dorset. They think that's where the ball's going to go. A good fake, as a matter of fact. You see commitment out of that safety. Nobody's back there. Billy Joe's wide open. That's down. Very conscious of getting both those feet down. He did. Touchdown. A friend Herrera converts to the Cowboys. Extend their lead over the Cardinals to 14 to 3. Roger Staubach, the key factor, a 22 yard run. Billy Joe Dupree right there scored. National Football League quarterbacks. Example one, Fran Tarkenton, sacked by Gary Burley, suffered a broken fibula in the right leg out indefinitely. Lynn Dickey of the Green Bay Packers, broken leg out for the season, and Bill Munson charges broken leg out for the season.
And then at Three Rivers Stadium, second quarter action. Brian Sight back to pass for the Browns. Hit by Old Arrowhead, Ernie Holmes, number 63. And Sight suffered a broken bone in the left shoulder. He'll be out for six weeks. Terry Bradshaw was no exception on this day of quarterback catastrophes. Watch! Gerald Irons from the blind side. And Terry already sporting a cast over a broken wrist in the old familiar scene. Writhing in agony on the playing field. Severely bruised left shoulder. He'll be back next week. Now in the first quarter, trailing three to nothing. Bradshaw was red hot. Throwing deep to the graceful Lynn Swan touchdown. The Steelers took a 7-3 lead. Lynn had five catches, 129 yards. That one touchdown on the day. The very last play in the first quarter. Bradshaw again looking for the same target. And watch this. Swan in another of his pattern and leaps. An extraordinary catch. That set up a Rocky Blyer two-yard touchdown jaunt. The Steelers went ahead by a score of 14-3. Midway in the second quarter with the score at 14-3. It was time for Bradshaw to look elsewhere. And so he went to number 82, Johnny Stallworth. And John is alone, the ball perfectly thrown. Touchdown on the day. Stallworth caught six for 126 yards, two touchdowns. The steal is sped to a 28-3 lead at halftime. But these Brownies never give up. This is third quarter action. Dave Mays in the sight. Passing to the incredible one, Greg Pruitt. He seems so elusive. It almost seems as if no single tackler can bring him down one-on-one. -on -one. This play, good for 31 yards. With less than a minute left in the game. The score had grown to 35-24. And Dave Mays hit Larry Poole. Too little, too late. Pittsburgh 35-31. The New England Patriots visited the Miami Dolphins, a must-win game for the Patriots, but they weren't equal to it. Here's fourth quarter action, the Dolphins leading 7-3, and Johnny Smith had kicked off for New England. That's Gary Davis, second-year man out of Cal Poly. You saw the wedge open up the hole. Now you see him cutting back across the field. Now, veering down the right sideline, he's too quick for that tackler. And that one finally heaves him out of bounds, but that set up a Gary Premium field goal. Miami led 10 to 3 in the fourth quarter. New England, trailing 10 to 3, tried to blitz. You don't blitz a slick veteran like Bob Greasy. He can read it, and that's what he did right here. Going in that more. Touchdown, 17 to 3. The final score, Miami 17, New England 5. The Chiefs visit the Bears. And the Chiefs stormed to a 17 to nothing lead, but all day long they were fearful of this man, Walla Payton. This, a 15-yard run that has as much brilliance in it as any 90-yard touchdown dash you'll ever see. Payton, a marvelous running back, who is now the outstanding runner in the National Football League. Two minutes left in the game. Kansas City leading 20 to 14. The Bears fighting back. And there goes Peyton. Look at his stats on the day. The Bears went ahead 21 to 20. But just as quickly, the Chiefs responded. Eddie Podolak scored on a 14-yard run with only 29 seconds left. And then this. Three seconds left in the game. Who's covering Greg Lapp? No one. Avellini to Latta. And the Bears rescued the ball game. 28 to 27, an unbelievable finish. At San Diego Stadium, the Denver Broncos, an authentic powerhouse, had to meet up with a San Diego team that was hot. Trailing 14 to 3, Craig Morton threw to Haven Moses for a touchdown. That made it 14 to 10. That midway in the third quarter. And then, with only a minute and a half left in the game, the rejuvenated Morton, newly married, again through to Haven Moses. Touchdown, Denver has lost only once this year. They won yesterday 17-14. The wildest game of the day had this man in a turmoil, a frenzy all day long, John Mack. Houston at Oakland. It's 10 to 6, Oakland. But right now, Pastorini deep. Watch double zero, Kenny Burrow. Great catch, touchdown. And so, Houston went ahead 13 to 10 late in the second quarter with Houston enjoying that three-point lead. And he's the slick southpaw. 
looking for old reliable number 25, Poletnikov. Of course, he's all alone. The blue finger one scores. Oakland moves ahead 17 to 13. The game was topsy turvy, shifting tides, ebb and flow. This action in the third quarter. Oakland ahead 17 to 16. Would you believe it? The pass to Poletnikov. Poletnikov hit by Willie Alexander. Fumbled the ball taken in the air by 22 C4. What Seek slipped that tackle. Now the downfield blocking is forming. And Seek is going to go all the way for a Houston touchdown that seemed to come out of nowhere. The extra point was missed by Pascarini, picking for the injured Tony Fritsch. That made it Houston 22 to 17. Oakland went ahead 24 to 22. Pascarini again. Cabelli, White Shoes, Johnson, all alone. The speedster pours it on. And so again, Houston went ahead as Billy goes through his familiar act. That made it 29 24 for Houston. The kickoff goes to number 40. He banners at. They mark him off every year. He keeps coming back. Right here, he returns the ball to the Oakland 43. That was enough to put Kenny Stabler in the field position he wanted. Eight plays later, number 28. USC, Clarence Davis. We touchdown Oakland won the ball game 34 to 29. Far from getting sacked as he throws the ball so quickly before the guy makes his final move. He threw it that time. He did not look at Randy Hughes on the outside. Didn't set up. Not Randy Hughes. His arms coming out of the outside. I don't know where that scuffle starts, but it starts. They had to have that break to keep the game alive. Billy Joe Dupree will think about that all night. We'll be right back. Randy White, number 54. Look at that See, entire nobody, defense slant. Yeah, but nobody's blocking him. See, Frank, they're trying to cut off with him with Finney. But look at Dede, number 50, stand up right, right there. And there he goes. You know, again, you... Terry Roughness, he's number 76. That's a tough call. Well, I think they really did try to protect the quarterback. You mentioned that... Uh, it... He'll go. It is not. He's going to punt as he did against the Giants last week. Puts it out inside the five. He did that last week against the Giants. And he's congratulated. So the Cardinals start in trouble again. At the one. Morris this time. Touchdown, Cardinals. Okay, they got it back going. Yep, things grow more and more interesting. You'll see again a protection. Nobody's getting close. Has some time, zips it. He had him turn. He had him turn. Again against Lee Nelson. Ten yard line. Dorsett. <laughs> and Tony behind a surge of the left side of the Cowboys line moves to the five yard line. And Ralph Neely and Herbert Scott, zone blocking, just blew the right side of the Cowboys defense out of there. Second down and five. Cowboys. Newhouse. Oh, cool. Good hit. Gets to maybe the two-yard line. Force backwards. A little more than two yards to go. Newhouse. Funny oh, call and draw play. play. And it loses a yard. That's a very unusual call. Picking. Remaining in the game. 21-yard attempt. Good. Now make six consecutive field goals for the Cowboys. And the Cardinals stay alive on this November 14, 1977. Against Dallas. Somehow or other, he makes the big play. He had him by that step, and that ball was right there. Man, that's pretty. I don't guess his ankle hurts on this one. It's not benching at all. Oh, uh, no sign of a limp. Straight down the field. Nothing fancy. Aaron Kyle was not that far off of it, yeah. incidentally. That ball had to be perfect. He's wide open. Oh, that's that little fake roll out there on the outside. Looks like me again. Somebody had to miss some sort of an assignment. I don't know what I could see close. As... What did you see, Mike?